Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome. Well, I'd like to do Super Mario 3D World at some point, but not just now. Right now I actually want to continue with the 3D Mario theme and go to Bowser's Fury. Bowser's Fury. Which I haven't actually played properly before. I haven't even seen the whole game. I've just, like I've seen without actually watching properly um, most of the game in terms of I'm like, I don't know, but I haven't actually, I don't actually know much more than the first five minutes of the game, so. Also, I would do Super Mario Galaxy 2, but I... My copy got scratched, so I'm sad. And it's not on the Switch yet. That was a very familiar looking emblem on the ground there, which is a, a reference to Super Mario Sunshine. And of course it's the cutscene is just a reference to Super Mario 3D World when that game starts. But anyway, we've landed in a gigantic footprint here. Or claw print or something. It's very similar controls to Odyssey actually. Except the dive goes straight into a roll straight away, so that's very strange, very different. Got some Bowser blocks here. And a ruined flying ship. Oh, and also gigantic Mega Bowser. Who's throwing fireballs and gigantic blocks at us. Oh, and there's a glowing spot there to ground pound on for a coin. Oh my goodness. But anyway, if we go over here, we have a thing to collect. Oh my goodness, everything's lighting up because Bowser's about to breathe fire on everything in the universe. And those blocks can only be broken with Bowser's gigantic flame. But let's grab this. A cat shine. I love the way that this game looks. But yes, we're collecting cat shines. Kind of like... Oh my goodness, the music. Sorry, I haven't heard much of this music before, but it sounds amazing and everything looks amazing. The cat shines are obviously shines. Kind of like Super Mario Sunshine, with the shines that you collect there. But everything is cat themed as well. Like these, this bush here, which is a cat, these flowers which are paws, the trees that are cats. Very 3D world. <laughs> the birds have cat ears as well. 
And look who it is. I missed the voice acting from Super Mario Sunshine. Those were great cutscenes. But anyway, this is still pretty good. It looks like it, it looks like Bowser Jr. is in trouble. I hadn't noticed. Mario, Dad is out of control. I don't know what happened. Doubt. I tried to help him, but he's too big and mad. I can't change Dad back by myself. More doubt. I'd never ask for help, never ever. But I'll do anything to save Papa, so help me, Mario. You've teamed up with Bowser Jr. who has the paintbrush from Super Mario Sunshine and it looks cool because of the, the, the color goop on it. What's this icky paint like goop? It's moving. But how much should he help you? Um, uh, just a little. You can actually set how much he helps you from a little to a lot to none. But we'll just do a little. You've asked Bowser Jr. to help a little. To change the setting, select options in the plus menu. There's one more thing to mention. If you share two Joy-Con controllers, a second person can play as Bowser Jr. Unfortunately, the, the two-player mode is not great, really. I mean, it's good that they have it in there for people who want that, but it's kind of like Super Mario Odyssey's multiplayer, where it's just basically just splitting the controls for one person in half and giving it to somebody else. But anyway, we can just select two-player mode in the plus menu to activate two-player mode. But anyway, let's get started by collecting some coins. We can obviously grab as many of these as we want. Depending on what Bowser Jr. is set to, he will, I'm assuming, because I don't really know, help out with attacking enemies or collecting coins and stuff. Uh, but he won't do it too much if you've got Omon a little. Which I don't know if it, like, I don't know if there's benefits and, uh... Yeah, I don't know what the benefits are of having less things. Also, the music. Oh my goodness. I don't want to talk over it, but also... Oh my goodness, I can't... Stop, I can't... It's too good. Also, the Goombas are cats, and these bird things are cats. I don't actually know what these are called. I should probably know what those are called. But anyway, let's grab ourselves a Cat Bell to become Cat Mario. Now we can press Y to slash in front of us. So let's look around, and we can also climb up walls as Cat Mario. So if I can actually get up here, that'd be good. Especially since there's actually something else up there, if I can actually get up there. Oh my goodness, why am I so bad at this? Probably because I'm not used to playing this game yet. But you know, that, that that's not real. That's not how video games work. Oh my goodness, I fell off. When I was so close to the top. I'd highly recommend looking up this music from this game though. Anyway, let's grab a, a cat shine piece. And let's see if I can get out this window. I don't think you can climb up here. I don't remember... I haven't actually seen how to get up there. I tried getting up there the first time I played this game. And I think I remember how to get up there, but also not really. Also, I believe, if I'm not wrong, I could be wrong. Okay, I think I'm wrong. I believe that sometimes when you, um, when you break a, a block or hit a block, it, have, it will have a pixel Luigi come out, possibly, if I'm not wrong. But anyway, we've got two, uh, cat shine pieces, and there are little cats here. And they're gonna say hello to us. They're also the colors of, um, the other cats from 3D World, or the characters from 3D Worlds as cats. So we've got pink as Peach, blue as Toad, green as Luigi, and grey, I guess, as Rosalina, who's an extra character for beating, uh, getting through the main game and going through the extra worlds. But anyway, we can also pick them up and carry them around, but they're so cute. They're just so cute. 
Anyway, got some paw prints on this wall to show that we need to go up that. We'll do that in a second. First, I'm going to grab another cat bell. And there's our inventory down there, which means we can actually store extra items if we need to. If we press the, um, the up button on the left controller, we can select what item we want to grab and then press A to grab it out. And I believe this is actually probably the, the best kind of inventory because we actually have space for every item and each item can actually have uh, more of itself stacked on top of that. Also, I need to remember that if I hold down Y, I actually run, because that's a useful thing to know. But anyway, let's see if I can get up here. Because there's probably something to grab up there. A piece of a cat shine. Oh, get up there, please. Just missing two, though. You don't need to worry about missing them, though, because if you uh, leave, you'll still have to be able to come back later and have them be still collected. Which is good, but anyway, let's grab another cat shine. Make the lighthouse shine. Which we did, and now that lighthouse is shining. But let's not leave just yet, because we still haven't got the, um, the last few, um, cat shine pieces. This lighthouse, lighthouse wants to bring something to light. That splotchy goop will vanish under the light of a sh cat shine. But some of those cat shines are a bit shy. If you can't find one, try looking on an another island. Islands with lighthouses are usually hiding something, so something. Get to a high sp up spot and look for one nearby. Also, randomly while we're going around the world, um, hang on, gonna grab one of those. Out. Bowser is gonna bring his reign of terror. Lit literally reign. I, uh, 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 an un unintentional joke, but it's still funny. And we need to be very prepared. Because there's a few things that happen when when he's angry. And that is the blocks that um, throws down everywhere and fire. But also some of these Bowser blocks can only be destroyed during Bowser's fury. Unfortunately though, I don't think I can get him to get these ones at the moment since he's on the wrong side. Also, we can just stack so many items. It's wonderful. I don't know what was with that glowing. I don't know what's with this glowing. They're just glowing, I guess. I guess they were just glowing. Oh, where's Bowser? We can actually see him in all of his hugeness. Where is he though? Oh, he moved and he's over there. This is actually a good thing though, because I want him to burn me. I'm gonna hide behind this block here so I don't get burned. And it destroys that. Whenever we grab a cat shine though, Blast the fur fury, bl fury blocks. Whenever we grab a cat shine, the lighthouse. We'll push away Bowser for a little bit, so we're actually good for now. So yeah. Uh, there's actually a few other things I want to look at, though. Because over here we have a question mark on the wall. And if I press the right button, I believe, we have a cursor on the screen now, which you reset whenever we press... No, nope. yeah, press, press the left button to recenter it. And if we hover over the question mark on the wall and hold down the right button, I believe, or tap it, Bowser Jr. goes over to the wall and paints it, which gives us a power-up. Get Fire Flower, which of course throws fireballs. Mushroom that just levels us up to regular size if we get hit. Now, I need to look around this first island a little bit more. I could move on, but I don't really know what I'm expecting up to this point, because this is as far as I got on uh, my first bit on a different profile, so grab that. We just need one more if I can 
find it. It's over there. Let's see if I can actually get that, though. It's a bit difficult to get to, I think, since it's up in the air. But I think I can actually probably climb up this wall as Cat Mario and then get pulled in by the thing turning. And we got another Cat Shine. I think that's actually all of them on this island. Nope, it's not. The lighthouse has holes on it to show how many there are, and there's still two more to get. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that, I guess. So we can't actually do anything else here for now. Let's move on. Also, the catfish. It's because it's cheap cheap, but it's their cats, so it's catfish. Anyway. Lakeside Gigabell, which is covered in goop and needs five cat shines to awaken. Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. Whoa, it's a Gigabell! I heard a cool saying about these. I think it was when the beast rises, the Gigabell will ring, or something. Maybe we've got to get this splotchy goop off first. Some more cat shines will, might do the trick. Well, we're going to have to do that then. I'm just going to grab some more coins. I don't know what happens when I grab many coins. So we'll find out what that's about. Pounce Bounce Isle instead of Scamper Shores. Since we're moving on now, just gonna jump there to make that spring us up. Oh my goodness, I love everything about this game so far. I'm glad I'm playing this because I haven't played this properly before. Oh, this is actually a, a view platform so you can actually look around at things. There's Bowser over there. Not quite angry yet. Boomerang flower. We get to throw a boomerang, which actually goes back towards us. Doesn't need to actually be collected though, which is nice. It just needs to break or something. And then we can throw another one. We can only throw one at a time though. And actually, this is actually how I lost it already. Good job, me. We can actually use it to break these other boomerangs, I think, and probably take these boomerang bros out. I love how everything's got cat ears. <laughs> Cats are great. I just have to say that. Also, I've got... I've been... Oh, I think whenever I go over a hundred coins, it gives me a power-up, which Bowser Jr. collects. I think that's what's happening, based on the fact that I've already been attempting to get stuff. Speaking of getting more power-ups, let's do this to get a boomerang. Except if I want, I want Bowser Jr. to get it. We can also direct Bowser Jr. to other things that we want to collect as well, by the looks of it. Uh, can I actually get back to that other cat piece thing there? Also, can I get Bowser Jr. to do it? I can! So that's actually a good strategy to grab things, I guess. Is, like... Uh, point at it with Bowser Jr. and then get Bowser Jr. to do it. Just a coin. This is so nice. And I love how open it feels, because we can actually go and get shines in whatever order we want, pretty much, as long as we can actually access the areas with them. Which right now we... Ah, uh, hang on, I want Cat Bell again. I really like Cat for getting around, if you couldn't tell. It's a lot easier than just walking, because we can climb walls. And we can also dive, which is also very nice. Oh, we got a star power. I, don't, I know I'm missing something right now, but I also want to run with this and take out some enemies if I can. Nice. Let's grab this Cat Shine. Which now I think we have five. I think. There it is. Oh hey, and that gets rid of that and we get some more areas for cat shines. You've collected five cat shines. A message is ringing out from the Gigabell. When the beast awakens, so shall I. Okay, well... Whenever B Bowser gets up again, which looks like he's about to. Uh, this lighthouse has, has some new light news for you. Collecting coins may can be worth your while. You'll get a power-up for e 
Uh, each time you collect 100 coins, you can store up to 5 of each power up too. Okay, so we can't get infinite of everything, which would be as good as that would be to just be so satisfied by having billions of items. Um, we can only have 5 of each. That's sure to come in handy during your adventure. Grab some coins and pocket a few extra power ups. We definitely will be doing that. I didn't mean to go down. I meant to go in on top and grab the thing up there. Also, I can actually come back. Okay, they, he just automatically climbs things when you really walk into it as a cat. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we can come back to these uh, cat shine pieces later on if we need to, since we can we can leave and have them stay collected until later. But for now, let's head over to this Giga, Giga Bell. Since Bowser's about to be furious. Let's actually watch him rise. Oh, he's risen. It's too late now. Can't watch him rise when he's already risen. And now... Let's ring the Giga Cat Bell, apparently. And now we are massive and we can fight Bowser like this. So let's do some damage if we can. Oop. Oh, I'm in the goop. I'm in the goop. Which would normally do damage to me, but I'm huge right now, so it can't do damage. Oh, he's going to land on me. Run. Everything controls. Oh, I lost my cat already. Everything controls just like it would normally, except slower and bigger, I guess. We can actually see everything, like every, all the level that we've gone through already from here. As big as we are. But let's see if we can actually do some damage to Bowser, maybe. Dodging his fire. Ground pounding on him, on him probably does more damage, I'm pretty sure. Oh, run, run, run. Make sure to hold down Y to actually run faster. And let's go. Rainbow. So, for defeating gigantic Mega Bowser. It's not over yet, and we've unlocked some more of the world. Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. He sank back into the lake. But trust me, it'll take more than that to beat my papa. We need to make him really see the light. The way to do that is to find more cat shines. More of that splotchy stuff went away, so there must be new islands to explore. Let's check the map and get going. Hurry up, Mario. So yes. We've got, by the looks of it, four new islands. But we've, we haven't even finished over here yet, so we've got plenty more to do. Looks like Bowser Jr. has more to say. Oh yeah, I almost forgot something important. If you get lost, press uh, minus or right to bring up the map. So yeah, we can look at the map now. We can also see Bowser in the middle, I guess. But yeah, we've got plenty more to do. We can also see the Giga Cat Bells here, and there's another one here apparently. So we'll have a look at that later, but I believe now this Giga Cat Bell is actually gonna need 15 Cat Shines. So we're not able to do that whenever Bowser gets furious again, so we're gonna have to hold off on that for a little bit. Um, I don't want to move on just yet. There's a lot of Cat Shines we haven't done yet. Oh my goodness, this cat was playing with a bowl. And it's... it's come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I got you. Hello, kitty. 
doesn't like me, I don't think. It's running away. Also, Bowser Jr. is just whapping that ball. Hang on. I see this. I haven't done this before or seen this. But I, I understand already what I need to do. It's missing its little cat. So let's find its little cat, which is still running away from us. Grab, grab. Okay. Let's take it over to its mama. Oh, it's so wholesome. Lost kitten by the shore. We get another cat shine. Okay. This is so nice. Let's head back over this way and get into some more stuff over here. Hurry, jump high, f jump fast. What? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I could just go around and do the other thing that I missed, but also, I guess I should do this. It's pro to get that one in mid-air. Um, I kind of want to hold off on that just for now. Also, Plessy is around now. Plessy's a uh, way of riding around to different islands quickly. But we need to... We're still hanging around here for a little bit longer. Also, I guess this, um... This cat thing we can recollect. It gives us coins, but it doesn't actually give us completion for this area. So, let's actually go get the other thing that I missed because I was going too fast. Should be over here somewhere. Oh, it's a long way, actually. This is a fair way into this island. I guess it's technically islands, but it's... I don't know, are they connected? Does it count as multiple if they're not connected? I don't know. Anyway, let's just grab that. Like that. We'll get another cat shine. Okay, very nice. So that was that. Let's actually change power up again, I think. Just because cat's probably going to be helpful for this thing over here. So let's ground pound on this since it has the ground pound icon on it. And we need to get over to the end where the lighthouse is quickly. I'm assuming. 20 seconds. Okay, that will work. I think you can run extra fast, possibly. No, I think it's just you boost your speed after a few seconds of running. Let's grab that. Nice. Just another two more to go on this island. Also love the colors going up to the top. Now where's this other one in midair? I can probably get to that one by diving, but I'm not gonna do that just now. Instead, I'm actually gonna jump down here. And over by, on this island here, if we swipe with Y at this, it actually makes that go up. But we have to get up there quickly before it goes down again. So let's quickly get up there and let's grab that. Climb to the shine. Now I think that wasn't actually one of this island, so I think that's actually not gonna make the lighthouse better. But it is gonna bring up our number of cat shines to nine, which is pretty good. Get that, please. Oh, interesting. Gold pipe. Ground pound to go down faster. Oh, it's a cat. And also, many monies. Very nice. I don't think the coins will be there anymore, but still. But anyway, I think with that, that is it for this episode of... Bowser's Fury, unless Bowser's getting angry at the moment, which I don't know if I can actually see him from here, so he might actually not be getting angry while I'm over here. So anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.